your mind what you're going to do, Abner. Well, I've got to have time to think it over, Lom. Well, you've been two hours deciding on it. Well, I want to be sure I'm right. This is a turning point right here. Swan, I've got to where I despise the play checkers with you. Well, quit talking so much, Lom. I can't concentrate and you yapping at me all the time. All right, take your time. That was our ring, wasn't it? I don't know. I never paid no attention. Let's see here. What ought I to do? Yeah, yeah, that's ours. That's ours. I thought it was. Well, sir, I believe I'm going to move right here, Lom. Yeah, move it right there, right there. Yeah, that's our ring. More than likely somebody calling up wanting to order some groceries. Just about what it is. Just about. Go ahead, move. Yeah, let's see. My granny, you got me cornered there, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> Better answer the phone before they run our batteries down. Well, you answer it. You're the closest. Uh, granny, must be some woman. Nobody else would be that stubborn-headed. Looks like she'd know when we never answered. There ain't nobody here. Hello? Got them down store. I'm Edward's doing the talking. Who? Oh, howdy, Sister Simpson. I hate you this by that old woman. Why, well, I reckon so. We're awful busy right now. What was you needing? Uh, just a minute. Get a pencil and paper, Abner, and take down this order. She's going to want to batch your stuff. Dad, blame it. I ain't got no paper. Anything to write on there. Oh, here. Here's an old letter I got in my pocket here. I'll just put it down on it. All right, what was you wanting? I can't stand here all day, you know. One can of salmon. Can of salmon. Five gallons of cool oil and a box of matches. Five gallons of matches and a box of cool oil. Er, yeah, yeah. Three bars of soap and ten feet of rope. Three soap, ten rope, that's all I hope. One bottle of Alka-Seltzer. We're out of Alka-Seltzer. Well, these poor bottles are in the drug department. Not now, they ain't. I sold them this morning. Ain't got no alka seltzer. That's all now, ain't it? Well, good. Uh, well, we'll get it over there today sometime. Goodbye. That old woman will stand there and call out stuff all day long. She'll take it down. Yes, yeah, she's a nuisance. Let me sit down here. <clears throat> Granny, I'm war to a frazzle. <laughs> war to a frazzle. Are you sure we're out of alka seltzer? Yeah, I sold Uncle Henry Lunsford four bottles this morning. Four bottles? Granny, he must have thought they were going to stop making it. Well, he mixes up a half a tub of it at a time. Half a tub? Granny, he must be in bad shape. Oh, it ain't him, it's his cow. His cow? I never heard of a cow having acid indigestion or a morning after misery. Well, he says he always gives them alka seltzer when they get bloated. My granny, that's a new one. He might have invented something there, you know it. Milk that'll fizz. Yeah. Well, they found all sorts of uses for it around here. The widow Abernathy gives it to her chickens all the time for wilting combs. Puritans them right up, she says. Granny, that might be a good idea. Get your Alka Seltzer right along with your eggs for breakfast. Yeah. If the eggs don't explode when the hen lays them. Yeah. <laughs> She's liable to blow herself right off the nest one of these days. <laughs> Get that stuff to fizzing in there. <laughs> Gomer Bates gave a dose of it to his horse the other day. A horse with a headache? That would be something. Well, I've had one big enough for a horse at times. Yeah. But he said this was for the epizootic, a cold in his head he had. And it cured it? He claims it did. They just advertise it for humans, but I reckon it would be all right for animals. I know Mamie Seastrom called up here the other day, said she'd been giving Ezra, her husband, been giving him them one-a-day tablets for about two months. Wanted to know if I thought it'd hurt anything to give some of them to the dog. <laughs> Tried them out on Ezra first, huh? Yeah, she claims they done both of them good. Well, 
Well, we better put that down on the want list. Next time the Alka-Seltzer man's around, we better get a couple of cartoons of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that stuff is selling fast. It sure is. Everybody's using it. They advertise it right smart. Got some radio programs, a quiz kid and a barn dance. I've heard them. Yeah, they got another program on, too, if I can think of the name of it. A couple of old-like fellers. Oh, yeah, I heard them the other night. One of them's named Abner, same as mine. I couldn't stand to listen to him. He's so silly. Well, come on. It's your move, Lon. Oh, well, here, we better put up that order if we're going to. Oh, yeah, well, here. I had to write it on that old letter I found in my pocket. I reckon you can make it out here. Well, wait a minute. This is a private, personal letter. Huh? Let's see. To you and Elizabeth. Oh, I brung that over to show you, love. That's the saddest thing I ever seen in my life. Sad? Yeah, it's from Elizabeth's sister. Morning. Four bottles. Granny's eating. Dulcie. Oh, yeah. That's the cutest youngin' I ever seen in my life. Well, I don't reckon she's very cute anymore. The letter says she's deformed now, Lum. Deformed? That's what it says. Says she's got three feet now. Three feet? Oh, undoubtedly some mistake about that, Abner. You? you know the youngin' ain't got no three feet. Well, now, Lum, her own mammy writ the letter, and I reckon she counted them before she done it. Yeah. Dear Uncle Abner and Aunt Elizabeth. Yeah, that's me and the woman. <laughs> it's the biggest handwriting I ever seen in my life, I'll say that for her. Well, she has to write big when she's writing to Elizabeth Long, on account of Elizabeth being so hard of hearing. I take my pen in hand to drop you a few lines to let you know how I'm getting along. Yeah, she always does. Bless her heart. By last, her little heart. You wouldn't hardly know little do Get right now. there, Long. There's where it tells about her having three feet. Oh, Granny, I sort of hate to read it. Poor little three-footed youngin. Yeah. You wouldn't hardly know little Dulcie now. She has grown another foot since you seen her last. Mm. Awful sad. One can of salmon. Huh? Oh, I see. You just ripped the grocery order right down through the layer there, huh? I just slapped it down anywhere as I could find room to put it. That's what I done. Wish you and Aunt Elizabeth was both here now. We've all got the measles. Well, I'd love to be there. I sure would. We've been taking everything for it. Five gallons of cool oil and a box of matches. My doggies. That sounds like an awful big dose of coal oil to me, five gallons. Yeah, especially on top of all them matches. That's dangerous. Oh, yeah. One of them young'uns ever slides down the banisters, he'll blow the whole place up. Yeah. I haven't been fishing since you was here, but every time I see a worm, I think of you. She can say the sweetest things. Our new hen laid an egg last Tuesday. Well, good for her. Our new preacher is going to lay a cornerstone next Sunday. Huh? My doggies, now there's something I'd love to see. Oh, uh, yeah, you take one of them cornerstones, Abner. Them things is this big. And they're square, too. I don't believe he'll ever make it. Not by next Sunday he won't, no. I am sending you a birthday present under separate cover. Something for your neck. Yeah, that's what it was, something for my neck. <laughs> Three bars of soap and ten feet of rope. Uh-huh. Yours with love and kisses, one bottle of Alka-Seltzer. Huh? Oh, I thought for a minute she'd married again and changed her name. <laughs> yeah, we're clean out of alka cells anyway. Yeah. Well, here, we better put this order up so you can take it on over there. Now? Three feet. So as you can take it on over there. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Not as hot as it is today, I ain't. I dog as you'll either take it or it won't be took. Well, that's the way you feel about it. There ain't but one thing for me to do. Let me get to that telephone. What you fixing to do? That's Sister Simpson's ring. I know whose ring it is. Huh. Don't she answer? You don't hear me talking, do you? No. Oh. Reckon where she could be. No telling. No telling. Hello, Sister Simpson? <laughs> well, where in the world have you been? Oh, excuse me. That reminds me, Lom, we got a mail order catalog here for her. Well, what I called up, uh, Sister Simpson, I, I expect you're going to have to get them groceries somewhere else. No, Mom, we've looked good and we're smack dab out of everything we've got. 
Granny, that ought to hold her. Yeah, good for you. Sit down. Let's finish this game of checkers. It's still your move. Mm-hmm.